it's Sunday evening, 25th, uh, about 1 pm. Uh, just started my kind of 20k runs plan for today. Uh, kind of a deep scratch, which I think it's a tooth mark, but uh, one of them strange things where the owners just don't keep the dog on the lead, but I never. Uh, so look, the, today plans to run 20, uh, 20k. Legs feel still a little bit fatigued from my 30k up uh, yesterday and uh, 107 since Monday past. So it is the start of a new week in terms of my videos. So 20k gets me started this week and uh, we'll see how it goes. But good thing from starting slightly later this morning was one, I'm not sneaking out of bed kind of in the early hours of the morning so give me a little bit of more time around the house uh, get up make some breakfast give a hand with the housework I feel like a I suppose a normal person but uh, so now that that's been done it's sneak out of the house for a couple of hours to try and get my 20k up uh, so I suppose what I'm trying to say is it's not all not always easy getting getting out of the house. I know I personally feel feel guilty whenever I'm away from Louise and the family. Uh, but I suppose it's about trying to make it as much quality time as possible whenever I'm in the house. Uh, so Look, we'll see how today goes. As I say, a little bit fatigued from yesterday. Plans to try and do some softer sand today as well, which probably won't help the legs, but we'll, uh, we'll see how we go. Run 10k away from the house and I have no option to get back, so. On the Abaru Trail today. Hopefully it goes well. Much better soon. 11k in the Sunday. Uh, legs feel really strong actually. I'm really surprised that yeah, they're fatigued but still moving. Still moving at a good pace uh, considering my 4k of the 11 has been on soft sand. Quite hilly. Uh, so yeah, I'm actually very surprised at how good I feel. So, got a few tempo k's in as well towards the end before it turned around. Uh, so now it's just a case of 10k back to the house. Kind of semi-sensible pace for recovery. Uh, so they come tomorrow, hopefully they'll be fresh again. Uh, so we'll see how we go. That's the uh, 20k up. Uh, I was able to push slightly harder on the way back. So, three minutes quicker on the way back, which is good. Uh, felt really strong, as I said, because I was expecting it to be no, tougher. But the legs are definitely heavy. Uh, Quads feel very fatigued, calves are starting to get tired. Pretty much what you'd expect after a hundred and nearly 30k in seven days, so uh, plus the previous weeks, but really good. So, looking forward to the Monday night and the rest of the week and a nice evening with the family. So, look. Uh, Monday the 27th, uh, 6 a.m. Uh, today I have this taken off as a rest day. So I looked at the program yesterday 
and decided that uh, instead of next week being a rest week, this week should definitely be the rest week. Uh, that's for a couple of reasons. One, my body was feeling really, really good at the minute. Uh, and in looking back on, on my past times, whenever uh, I've been pushing the limits, I go through this little phase of everything feeling really strong before something then starts to go. So, uh, second reason was all the numbers and all the data support that this is definitely what should be a respite that I've been pushing it too far and uh, I should not push it for another week so that was the second reason uh, and third reason is I have to fly to, fly to site tomorrow for a day trip so that'll be kind of 15, 16 hours away that I uh, won't be able to get any training in anyway. So the plan is to plan is to use today, tomorrow, both rest days, two in a row. Uh, I definitely think it'll take it. The body's feeling the body is feeling quite uh, quite tender. The quads and the thighs, the glutes, all feeling very fatigued. Uh, so I think it's I think it was the right decision. Uh, I did lay in bed this morning. Uh, I set the alarm for quarter to six, feeling uh, feeling guilty that I wasn't up training. That's that's just kind of who I am. It's kind of all in or not all out. But uh, look, even the uh, I'll still walk to and from the train station, which will get me. Uh, close to a 6k walk up each day uh, so 5k walk up each day maybe and you know it's still keeping the legs active and moving although tomorrow actually I'm flying so that won't be the case but uh, yeah look today's the plans to walk there and walk back and uh, we'll see see how that goes uh, so look as I say, I've said many times before Yes, have a long-term plan. As I say, yes, next week was to have the uh, to have the rest week then. But what I've done last night is I've rejiggled the next couple of weeks, just so that the lower case this week I start building again next week until the week after, whenever I'm I'm back up, and then I'll analyse it again as as things kind of progress and see when I should be should be taking that time off so uh, as I say I'll maybe touch base later on on, on Monday and uh, just let you know how I'm feeling how the body's feeling and uh, we'll take it from there see you soon Tuesday morning 28th uh, quarter to four just getting ready to head off to the airport and today is my second rest day uh, legs still feel a little bit trash, the quads, so they do just walking around the base downstairs now and yesterday was a little bit uh, tender, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get through the day and then hopefully they'll be back online tomorrow, so chat then. So it's Wednesday evening the 29th, uh, 5.30. I'm just uh, in through the door from work. Uh, haven't trained Monday, took it as a rest day. Haven't trained Tuesday because I knew it was going away. I had planned to take it on a rest day. Uh, had planned to do 12k today, but to be honest, I haven't. I haven't seen the family enough this week. Uh, at this stage, uh, Monday was busy at work. Tuesday was away all day and back last, late last night. Uh, so today I'm just in through the door. I could rush, get changed, go out, do 12k, come back in, go to bed, or spend half an hour on the couch before I go to bed at 8 o'clock, and uh, then get up and try and do it tomorrow. I have 24k planned for tomorrow, so that's a run to work and a run home from work. 
and I think uh, I think that's what I'm definitely gonna do. So today is gonna be another rest day, <laughs> and that's something I I never really never really do too much. I very seldom I take three days in a row, uh, but tonight I just I just don't don't feel like running. <laughs> uh, <coughs> so look, I'm gonna try not to beat myself up too much about it. I'm gonna go and uh, probably change into a pair of shorts, do some foam rolling in the couch and uh, in the living room with my lovely wife Louise, and uh, might even do some cupping on on the legs and calves. So uh, tonight's just gonna be another rest night, and uh, we will start fresh tomorrow morning. I think is the best plan. So uh, let's see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Thursday the 30th, I think. Uh, first run since Sunday. Uh, body feels nice and rested. And uh, yeah, plan this morning 12k. And then another 12k this evening. So we'll see how it goes. First the morning, we're kind of 8k in. Body's feeling, feeling good, uh, feeling a little bit fatigued, but uh, in general feeling very good. I suppose it's just going to take a day to, to loosen out from a few days off. Uh, so yeah, I'll touch base at the end. So that's uh, Thursday morning done. It's kind of 12k up, just a couple of... 100 meters from the office. Uh, been a really good run. A few little tight spots and uh, niggles, but I'm hoping that's just from a little bit of everything seizing up and recovering from the uh, few days off. Uh, but all in all, it's been really good. Really good getting back running again. Uh, back into a bit of a routine. Uh, work is busy, so it's. Uh, it definitely was the right time to take a few days off and let the body recover. So today, uh, plan still to run this evening on the way home. So we'll see how that goes. Touch base soon. Thursday evening, the 30th. Uh, just off the train, about six o'clock I'm guessing. Uh, 12k, up through the bush at Yabaru and that's my return after my little rest complete. Uh, legs are feeling well, heavy, let's say. But uh, hopefully they loosen out after the first couple of k. So that's the first five and a half k, kind of up through uh, first section of the trail. Done at a bit of a high tempo. Thursday done, twelve k up. Uh, actually kept a, quite a high tempo the whole way home so it'll be interesting to see what that looks like in the garment. Uh, calf's a bit tight on the left now but that's certainly because I was pushing it a bit more than usual. Uh, and we'll, we'll see how we go. Uh, more, more tomorrow again, tomorrow morning 12k so hopefully that goes well. Friday morning, 31st of May. 5 a.m. Uh, legs feel a little bit tired this morning, but overall not too bad. Very hopeful that the loosen out as the day goes on. Uh, plan today is 12k off the train at Stirling, run to Perth City. So uh, we'll see. Today morning, uh, just coming up to 10k in, just over 10k actually, 10 and a half. So for another K and a half to get to the office. Uh, feeling really good. The legs a little bit heavy, but been able to keep a good pace. Drop in a couple of little tempo sessions and uh, find a nice little bit of flow state where kind of just cruising along and the mile's been ticking away. So it's been uh, really good this morning. Friday finished. Uh, 12k, so it's been good. 
now uh, a bit of rest today and uh, tomorrow we we start again uh, looking forward to getting out with a, a mate Peter tomorrow so it's uh, it should be a nice uh, 35k tomorrow it's Saturday morning uh, out with Mr. Peter Jones yeah. say hello Peter hi everyone how you going uh, we're on the Bibliman track heading uh, away from the Discovery Centre not towards Calamunda uh, plan today is to run uh, 35k Pete we're aiming for yeah yeah something like that yep a uh, little bit of hiking in between times and uh, out enjoying the trails so not much to see at the minute because it's dark but uh, Whenever the sun comes up, we'll touch base. The sun's just coming up about an hour and ten minutes into it. So, what a view. Just over 20k in on Saturday. Uh, found this little nice kind of single track, a little bit hilly, but uh, it's been a good pace. Pete's been keeping me going, so it's uh, yeah, it's been good. It's been really good today. Feeling feeling strong after my few rest days earlier in the week. So 15k to the finish, and uh, that's this week done. Dusted. Touch base then. 35k up, all finished. Pete, how do you feel? Ah, uh, pretty good. You tired, to tired towards about halfway stage, but feeling pretty good now. It's all done and dusted, and I'd like to thank Glenn for coming out with me. You want to do another? Fun. You want to do another one? Uh, we'll maybe next time we'll go the other direction. <laughs> uh, so that's uh, total for this week is 93k, I think, or 91k, and that's with with uh, three days off, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So. Uh, Recovery week complete and uh, back to running again next week. So uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll chat to.